So let's look at some ways that you can add movement to the static meshes within your matinee sequence. I've just got a simple matinee sequence set up here with a director group and a single camera showing a wide shot and that's been put into my director group and my matinee actor has been set to play on level load. So one of the simplest ways that you can add some kind of movement to your static meshes is without doing anything inside the matinee at all. All you need to do is to select a particular static mesh and then in the details panel under the section that says physics check this box next to simulate physics. If you then press play you'll see that because my S shape there was kind of perched on top of this block that when the level loaded and the physics was simulated it fell off and landed on the ground. And you can make, make those kind of effects last a little bit longer depending on how you set up your shape. So I've got this ball kind of perched on top of a few cubes over here. And if I turn on simulate physics on that, and then press play, you'll see that it rolls down my cubes and then it's got a bit of energy to it so it keeps rolling further outside the scene. So you could do all kinds of things with setting up different shapes and simulating physics on them to create movement within your scene. But what can you do actually inside the matinee sequence? So I'm just going to open the matinee again and minimize it. And now I'm going to choose this pink letter L here and go back inside my matinee. And with that L selected, I'm going to right click and choose add new empty group. It says empty group, but it's actually going to come in connected to my L letter. I give the group a name and now I'm going to add what's called a visibility track. And all you can do with a visibility track is turn on or off the visibility of something. So I'm going to click my playback head at 250 mark, make sure that my visibility track is selected and press enter to add a keyframe there. And you can see I've got the option to either show or hide or toggle something. And toggle just means it will change it from whatever state it's in to the opposite state. So I'm going to choose hide and go OK. And if I close matinee now and play my sequence, you'll see that my L disappeared. Okay, but how about if you actually want to move something in a more structured way? So let's do that with this T static mesh here. So I'm selecting the T static mesh. Actually, I've got to open matinee first, then select the T static mesh, go back inside matinee, and now I'm going to add another new empty group that this time will be for my T letter that I had selected and I'm going to add a movement track to this one so I'm adding a new movement track. Okay so the movement track comes in already with a keyframe at the first position so that your object doesn't suddenly leap around from the beginning and that's where we want the T to start but let's add a keyframe say at the three second mark and I'm just going to hit return to add a keyframe and now we're back in that record key movement mode. So if I minimize the matinee editor and I now move that T letter you can see we're getting a kind of movement outline happening. But because we've only got two keyframes, of course, it's only going to make a straight line kind of action. I can now close my matinee actor and play that back. But what say we wanted a slightly more complex movement? So now I'm going to open my matinee again, and now I'll add a keyframe in the middle of this movement here, so at 1 second 50. And I'm going to hit enter to add a keyframe there. And now if I go back to my T, you can see now I've got a few more points that I can fiddle with. And now I can create a curve for the movement of my T. You can create all kinds of more complex 
movements depending on the number of keyframes you add and how you manipulate those. Once you've got a movement created, you can click on any keyframe to select it and then going back into the viewport you can adjust the position of its movement and you can also actually select just the keyframes so not this middle path but just the keyframes while you're inside here as well and adjust things and you can see here you've actually for curved elements you end up with little curved handles that you can also adjust to adjust the type of curve that you've got happening on your animation. As well as animating motion within Matinee, you can also use the Rotate tool to rotate a static mesh and that rotation will also impact the animation.